Hi everyone, Chef from Outdoors in the Low Countries. So this is the 165 centimeters chain harrow from Locom. What do we like about it? Well, first of all, the width 165, a little bit smaller than my current chain harrow, which is two meters. And because all my mowing is at 150 centimeters, a little bit wider for the system, of course. Uh, but still, this is more in agreement with the width of some narrow paths that I have that I also use with the mowing. Another aspect is that it has round edges. So when you hit a tree or a bush or whatever, it just bounces off instead of really hitting it. And uh, as a result, the damage to the tree, but also to the chain arrow itself is much smaller because of the smaller impact. What you also see here is that the chain arrow itself is connected by these large rings, which you can simply take off. So without any screwing, you can take off the chain arrow and as a result, you can turn it the other side when that is going to be necessary. At this moment, here in this chain arrow, you see there's no difference between the top and the bottom part. So uh, only after some wear, you can uh, swap the chain arrow to the other side. It's a galvanized frame with a raw color chain. Well, in this case, I just chose the orange because of the Kubota orange, but uh, you can choose it in any color that you want. Mostly these are black. It is now connected with a fixed top link. And the disadvantage of that is that the angle is now fixed and that's actually what you do not want. What you would like to have is that this front side is floating a little bit over it and that the contact point is at the back. And when the tractor is then going to some wobbly terrain, you don't want the front side really digging in. Now the easiest way to prevent the fact that you have a fixed arm angle is to replace the top fixed link by a chain. Another possibility is that you have a lever. It's also what you typically see on mower systems. Um, you can do both. I have to see what I will choose. The chain, of course, is the easiest. Now this device is now ready to put on the top side of the chain arrow and connect it to the top link in order to get some flexibility. It, uh, it does fit, so let's go outside, test it with the Kubota. Now here you see the normal situation with the fixed connection in it to the three point hitch. I had the three point hitch a little bit up so you can now see that it's hovering a little bit above the ground. But when I now go to the back and try to lift it a little, the only way I can do that is by completely lifting the whole system up, so it's still fixed. So that's why I put in the extra part that I made. So what you see now is that it can really follow the slope 
and the back side will always be dragging. Now I did some testing and what I see is that the angle of the device downwards like this is too limited. So I want to have it a little bit more down, but then I need to take some of the material away. So that's what I will do. So the bracket with the new shape has now been put on. And as you can see, there's now quite some movement possible at the back side. And the slope you can still adjust using the top link. So the only thing you now need to do is to give the bracket and the color that matches uh, the rest of the construction. I'm wondering if you know what color that will be. Well, I'm not sure what color you have guessed that it would be, but uh, this time it's going to be orange. This is now the new device, nicely colored orange, fits very well with a chain harrow as well as with the Kubota. So uh, let's put it in. So with the new mechanism there's now a lot of play in the whole system. So it's now much better for the harrow to follow the slope of the train which improves the harrowing effect. So many molehills already popping up again, so it's a good time to use the chain harrow. Also on this side quite some molehills. The first round bar will assure easy gliding over the field. The round edges will also ensure that you don't get hooked by something or when there's a tree or a bush that you don't get a certain force it will easily glide off. The first angle profile will then further distribute the molehill or dunghill. The harrow will distribute it even further but also important it will aerate the grass and the last Angle profile will then further distribute the molehill or dunghill or other dirt. So I hope you liked the video about the chain hero. I use it a lot to reduce molehills. I have a very active mole here in uh, the field. That's by itself a good sign because that means that the terrain is very healthy. And it gives me the opportunity to work with the Kubota and the chain hero to flatten it out even further and aerate the grass. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.